morning as uh, we are we are studying a series uh, on prayer this would be uh, the last few uh, uh, lessons that we are studying on the subject prayer before we enter into another topic uh, very soon probably uh, we will all be there in church uh, and the ones who are watching us online overseas i pray uh, we will be able to uh, allow the streaming to happen so that you also can be blessed wherever you are there are different types of prayer there are different types of prayer in the first uh, lesson we talked about uh, the multiple types of prayer i was uh, hearing one of my dear friends uh, saying the story i don't know how true it is uh, but uh, this is a funny story i don't have a congregation to laugh and uh, 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 get me excited about this humor but i know wherever you are you will be blessed this pastor's family one day uh, they were they were out um, uh, in their garden and all of a sudden the little child of the pastor um, looked on a tree which is not a huge tree uh, looked at a tree and uh, he was looking and then all of a sudden he saw his little kitten on the tree and it was not knowing how to come down the tree the kitten was caught up and uh, and uh, the kitten was really afraid to come down everybody tried their luck and uh, now the pastors always come up with uh, funny ideas <laughs> the father said don't worry i'll make a way he took his truck came around the tree had a small little string of thread tied on to the tree and said dad dad is going to pull the truck in the front you know we'll drive it and when the string gets tightened the tree will bend and bend and bend and bend and now what will happen the kitten will come down so son you need to be ready as the kitten comes down pounds of a kitten get the kitten daddy pastor pull this truck slowly and steadily the tree started bending and bending and bending all of a sudden what happened the thread snapped the kitten that was on the tree flew away now nobody knows where that kitten has gone the baby boy the brother you know the little boy was crying 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 dad said no son we will get the kitten back but he didn't get his kitten the story ended there after some weeks the pastor goes out for visiting and uh, as he enters one house he saw his little black kitten in that house but the pastor didn't want to say anything he kept quiet all of a sudden the the mum of the house comes out and say pastor you would not believe what happened couple of weeks back then the pastor says what happened what happened what happened tell me and still he is looking at the kitten knows this is his kitten but he didn't want to say anything then he says i and my little baby we were in our garden pastor couple of weeks back and my baby was saying i want a kitten like my neighbor i want a kitten like my neighbor and i was saying shush keep quiet keep quiet we don't want a kitten immediately you know what pastor my little boy said my pastor said if you pray you will get it so what you know what he did he went on the knee in the garden pastor you wouldn't believe what happened a kitten came from the sky and it fell right in front of my child and this is the kitten <laughs> now you know what happened the pastor could not say any word because he knew the child's faith 
will increase because of this incident that happened as a loss for him but a blessing upon this child some people say when you pray pastor you know the flu can go the sickness can go it can be sometimes a usual way it goes but i'll tell you when a believer prays and the usual things happen also the faith of the praying person will increase it can be a usual procedure somebody goes for a job he cracks the interview he gets through the job but his mummy who is sitting in the house and praying for the son who is going for the interview and praying that god you must give him a victory in the interview you know what when you get the job your mother who is sitting in the prayer room even though it may be your smartness that gave you your job it may be the way that you spoke in the interview that gave you your job but it is your mom's faith that has increased praise the lord today i want to talk to you about a man in the bible that we don't preach a lot we have never heard a lot of this person's name in the bible because only two or three times in the bible his name is mentioned but i think he is a wonderful model for us to study on turn your bibles to colossians uh, the letter written to the colossians uh, chapter number 4 chapter number 4 and verse number 12 colossians chapter number 4 and verse number 12 his name stands out as the first word ephphras i'll repeat his name once again ephphras who is one of you and a servant of Christ Jesus sends greetings he is always wrestling in prayer for you you see that what is ephphras doing he is always everybody says always he is always wrestling in prayer for you and what is his prayer that you may stand firm in all the will of god mature and fully assured as i said there are different types of prayer but this is a prayer that is called a prayer of wrestling a prayer of wrestling interestingly the name ephphras comes once more in the book of philemon when paul writes to his beloved brother philemon he says like this i have a co-prisoner with me his name is ephphras so this ephphras once upon a time was in the prison along with paul and you know what when paul is sitting with anybody he can rub a passion that he is having and i believe the passion that ephphras god was sitting with paul in the prison sometimes uh, the painful situation would have led you to become what you are in your spiritual growth sometimes uh, when we go through painful situation when we go through hard times uh, when we go through that stormy situation it is who you are connected with uh, and that person's uh, anointing will start flowing in you why did i say that philippians says like this in the book of philippians paul says uh, pray without ceasing pray without ceasing even in the prison uh, paul was praying uh, ephphras when he was sitting uh, probably he would have been seeing paul praying and praying and praying and praying praying and praying uh, when uh, somebody beats him up uh, he would be praying uh, when somebody says something against him he would be praying uh, prayer was the life blood of paul and now ephphras takes it into another level and he takes it it is not just pray without ceasing he started wrestling in prayer the meaning of the word ephphras is 
covered with foam <laughs> covered with foam you know the the spongy stuff you are covered with god knew who ephphras is going to become he is going to wrestle he is going to be in the battlefield and just like his name says he is covered with a, a smooth thing a foam that's the root word the foam is covering him when god has called you to be a prayer warrior when god has called you to be standing in the gap in the battlefield for people you will not be let alone by god he will give you a covering that the enemy cannot touch you somebody say a hey, hallelujah praise the lord god is going to cover you with his feathers he will cover you with his anointing he will cover you with his protection he will never send you into the battlefield without anything and no protection he would not send you because my god is your our heavenly father he would never send his child without his guidance he will never send his child without his protection but understand you and I i are not just going to be silent prayer people uh, praying just for your food uh, just praying for your water uh, just praying for your houses uh, just praying for your uh, work uh, some of you can do it but i'll tell you better people we are going to be different people than the rest of the people around the world uh, we need to be prayer warriors uh, you are going to be a wrestler in praying uh, meaning uh, you are not going to give up uh, you are not going to give up uh, the situation may put you down uh, the opponent may take you down uh, but you are going to rise up uh, come on wrestlers uh, of bethel uh, wrestlers of prayer who are hearing me right now uh, i'm praying that we are praying for a season of a new anointing uh, a warriors anointing uh, a soldiers anointing uh, a anointing that will take you into to victory in the name of Jesus along with you there are multitudes of people who are going to be blessed by prayer how many of you want to be a warrior of prayer have you heard people talking about my pastor is a prayer warrior my mom is a prayer warrior i know my neighbor is a prayer warrior i've seen people prayer warrior have you not heard about people telling about somebody he prays and gets it he does it he prays he's on his knees can't you be that person can't you and i be that person why do we want to point at somebody and say that person is a prayer warrior i pray in this new season of an anointing you also will be a prayer warrior hallelujah i pray new zealand will be filled with prayer warriors every suburb will be having prayer warriors every church will have prayer warriors our young people become prayer warriors you will walk around the streets of new zealand you will walk around the suburbs of new zealand you are going to wage a battle don't worry the opponent may be there he is there the devil is there depression is there sickness is there hallelujah people who pin you down will be there people who say negative words will be there they will try to overpower you but you know what god is telling you you are the winner you are the winner because he knows the end even before you know it he knows you are end he says you are more than a conqueror if you are in christ jesus you are more than a conqueror how many of you want to rise up to be a prayer warrior how many of you want to raise up to say i am going to be wrestling in prayer life and this is so important one day this man called jacob he cried out to god almighty but the book of genesis when moses writes he doesn't write anything about that he says in chapter number 32 verse number 26 of genesis moses when he was writing the first book of the bible he says now jacob 
tells to the angel i'm not going to leave you i'm not going to leave you unless you bless me the angel says leave me it's going to be dawn but hosea in his prophetical language hosea chapter number 12 and verse number 4 it says like this hosea chapter number 12 verse number 4 the bible says jacob cried what was the nature of his wrestling he was crying and crying he struggled with an angel and overcame him he wept and begged you see what did he do the throughout the night he begged and cried come on church i pray that you and i will be in that position throughout the night saying god you are not going to go unless you are going to answer me i pray we are going to get into the new season and this new season we will have night prayers throughout the night people sitting here and praying and knocking the door of heaven and saying god you are going to do it you are going to do that we are not going to leave you we are not going to leave you till my neighbor is been blessed you we are not going to leave you till there is a healing happening we are not going to leave you unless there are salvations happening we are not going to leave you unless there is a baptism happening if at all you are praying for somebody who is not going to think like you who is not going to pray like you who is not going to worship like you you don't need to get offended you don't need to fight with that person because he is having a brain of his own he is having a body of his own but today if at all you know you are worshiping the lord almighty you are doing the things are according to the word of god there is nobody that can stop you sitting in your prayer closet uh, and wrestling in the presence of god and say god i know my husband uh, i know my father i know my brother i know my wife uh, i know my child uh, i know my grandchild uh, he loves uh, he loves the world uh, even though he is a good boy even though he is a good man even though he is a nice person uh, he is loving the world uh, god I want him to come out of that world uh, and I want him to obey you Lord uh, I want him to be saved uh, I want him to worship you Lord uh, I'm going uh, and telling him uh, but he doesn't give me a ear uh, he is stopping my conversation uh, he's snubbing me off uh, but Lord I know nothing is impossible to you Lord uh, unless you do a favor unless you do a miracle unless you touch him he would not change God i am wrestling for him it's f of ras is not wrestling for himself he is wrestling for the people in colosse he is wrestling for the people in the church sometimes we wrestle for ourselves that's all right but this is wrestling for others i pray there will be a bunch of people in this category we may not find a lot of people many many people will be in the receiving end people want to be blessed but there are only few people who will be standing in the gap god himself says i was looking out for people who will stand in the gap but i didn't see any standing in a gap is not an easy job it's a hard thing but when you stand in the gap the reward not only comes to you it will be a blessing for somebody who doesn't know to wrestle in their life some people ask you to pray probably you would have said why should i pray it's not my need that person who asked you to pray knows you are a wrestler in prayer even when you don't know the capacity that you carry in prayer life your friend knows that you are praying and miracles are happening so don't take that responsibility that is handed over to you lightly hmm. when i go to some meetings people come around and say pastor you need to pray for me you need to pray for me 
Pastor, you need to pray for me. Sometimes we say, yes, yes, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. And sometimes and many times we forget the promise that has been given to them and you forget to pray. Normally I made a practice wherever I go, wherever the, for out meetings that people that I meet for the first time when they say, please pray. I immediately pray for them. I don't want to keep it for the next hour or the next minute. I do not know whether I will forget. If I say, I will pray, I need to pray. Because somebody is putting their burden upon you. And you who have said, yes, I will pray. You have said, I will fight that battle for you in prayer. And please, don't let down the person who has put their hope in you. And they have committed their life, their dreams, their aspirations into your hands and asked you to pray. Yefafras now knows that he's not a common man. The Bible says he is a servant of Christ Jesus. Who is he? He is a servant of Jesus Christ. Today, if you are a servant of Jesus Christ, you will take up that onus. You will take up that mantle of prayer because Jesus himself prayed. He took the burden of the world and went into Gethsemane and prayed. And that's the master who has taught us, don't stop praying, continue praying. The last few words of Jesus was, watch and pray so that you don't fall into the hands of the tempter. Jesus, at the starting of his ministry, he fasted and prayed. Ending of his ministry, he prayed and went to the cross. In between the ministry, he went on to the mountaintop, spent the whole night praying. If my Jesus can do it, a servant of Jesus should also do it. If I am the servant of Jesus, let us have that passion to pray. Not just for you, it's okay to pray for you, but pray for others. We are going to be warriors in Jesus name. Couple of things that I am going to pray for you today. I am going to pray for everybody who is watching me online who are attending the service now and whoever watches me later I am praying for you I am praying for your family I am praying for your children I am praying that uh, you will stand firm come on uh, I pray that no, nothing in the world will shake you up nothing in the world will shake you up nothing in the, in the world will make you go that side and this side and make you waver I am praying that you would stand firm if you have given your life to Jesus uh, you will stand firm as a child of Jesus uh, nothing Nothing will shake your faith. Uh, nothing will take you from the position of being a child of Jesus. Uh, nothing will shake you and take you into the worldly passion. Uh, I'm praying that you will stand firm. You will stand firm uh, or, uh, in all the will of God. Uh, whatever God is having uh, as a plan for you. Whatever is in the will of God for you, you will stand firm. How would you know the will of God in God in your life uh, the only way I know is to read the word of God uh, this is the will of God this is the will of God there is no greater there is no greater thing in the world uh, which talks about the Lord's plans upon your life God's will upon your life uh, because this is the constitution of our life uh, it is not a constitution just for Christians uh, it is a constitution for the world 
world. It is a constitution for the governments. It is a constitution for the family. It is a constitution for an employer. It is a constitution for an employee. It's a constitution for a child. It's a constitution for a parent. Name it. Everything has a basis in the word of God. Hallelujah. If this becomes your foundation, you will know the will of God is there here. You don't need to go to any magicians. You don't need to go to any soothsayers. You don't need to sit behind a parrot. You don't need to read any book. You read this book. This book is a good book. This book is an anointed book. This book is the language of God for you. If you read this, you will know the will of God upon your life. I'm praying you will stand firm in all the will of God for you. You will never go left or right from the will of God. When you go from the will of God, hardships, problems, dark moments, ditches, pain, waste of time, but if you are in the will of God darkness may be there dungeons may be there but there is no easy way than to be in the will of God because when you are in the will of God he will do things that people cannot do in a lifetime in few years in few months because he wants his child to enjoy the favor that is upon his life. So I pray this morning for you that you all will stand firm in the will of God. I pray that you will all be mature. You would not just remain as a baby. You will become mature. You will grow in the breadth, in the width, in the land of the knowledge of God. I pray our church will be filled with mature people. There is a difference between mature people and babies. Toddlers. Toddlers want to keep everything to themselves. A toy they don't want to share. They want to grab it. I've seen siblings, little siblings fighting, grabbing toys, grabbing toys, grabbing toys. This is mine. This is mine. If you give some food, they'll take that piece from the other plate and say, this is mine. Huh, I've done it when I was a child. But today I don't do it. As I grow up, I know I can buy things. If that person doesn't give it, doesn't matter. Let him enjoy with it. I can buy it for myself. That's a mature person's thinking. We will live selfishness and become selfless people. Selfless people are people who are mature. Today I pray that our church will be filled with selfless people in Jesus name. Selfless people in every areas of your life. It can be your finances. It can be your time. It can be your house. It can be the help that you can do. Let us come out of that selfish nature and become selfless people. Let us come out of that babyish way to become the mature way. When you do that, the church will be blessed. The nation will be blessed. The world around us will be a happy place. I'm praying that you all will be a mature group of people. And then he says this one, and fully assured that we all will be assured of 
knowing that we are not going to finish off in this world we will be assured of a place up in heaven our place here on this planet earth is a journey of a pilgrim but my homeland is up in heaven that's an assurance that we have when i talk to people who are going through chronic sickness but they are believers they pray like this god if you heal me praise god if you don't it's okay i will be with you i know that there is a place without pain i know that there is a place where my bridegroom will be waiting for me with both his hands open wide is stephen in the book of acts was one man who was assured so he was bold to preach he was not compromising he was not worried even though he was standing in front of the temple that people respected the most he was talking to the most literate people of those times he was not afraid to say the truth the truth that he knew that jesus is the lord jesus is the king he is the messiah he rose up from the grave even though he knew the consequence would be taking his life uh, he was not bothered because he knew his life here would be a fulfillment uh, if at all he preaches the good news uh, and somebody who is standing in the group uh, knows the love of jesus uh, and uh, if i'm going up to heaven uh, i know that my master jesus is standing up the bible says uh, as the stones were coming from every corner and pelting on to the body of stephen as his blood was coming out of his body the bible says stephen looked up uh, and he saw the son of man standing up to take him back home what an assurance but the bible says there was one young man his name was Saul he was standing there guarding the clothes of the people that was stoning Stephen that man who was a part of the persecution team later on became the strongest man next to Jesus in the Bible did the sacrifice of Stephen change somebody's life at that moment no but probably but probably that was the starting moment God started following Saul on the streets of Damascus the voice of God came Saul Saul why are you persecuting me the first time Saul has been shown in the Bible was near Stephen who was being martyred for God the first martyr of the New Testament church was Stephen when he was martyred the person who was persecuting Jesus took it on to himself and said you were not persecuting Stephen you were not persecuting the people that belong to me you are persecuting me now you I'm going to capture the power of God captured Saul and then the story goes on and on and on and he wrote 14 books in this beautiful Bible which has 66 books the most number of books written by a single man in the Bible is that man who witnessed the martyrdom of Stephen I want everybody to have this assurance 
you may not be the the strongest person on earth but you are strong because you are the child of the lion of judah nobody may look at you and say your prayers are working but god sees you as a warrior a wrestler in prayer if you are that person your prayers for others is going to be answered i always say instant prayer is good instant prayer but constant prayer is greater we are always people who just do instant prayers it's good it's good sometimes instant things are happening good but don't just wait on instant things let's have that consistency let our prayer life go into another level of constant prayer raise it up from instant to constant and if you are hearing this word let it not just be constant let it be a wrestling prayer a wrestling prayer for you for your generation for your group for your church for the people around your name is ephphras your name is ephphras you are not alone you are covered in the foam of that anointing of god can i pray for you as you are making this decision this morning father i want to pray more i want to be on my knee more i want to have a connection with you more i want to be that ephphras a servant of jesus christ a co co servant of paul a co prisoner of paul i want to be like him lord i want to be a wrestler in prayer life praying 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 till i receive it i will never i will never be defeated i will never be bowed down i will never be put down even though i am put down i will rise up i will become a mighty army i will stand up i will take the flag and wave because that's the fan of victory that is the the flag of victory and i will showcase it my journey will be a journey of success father in the name of jesus i bless everybody who made this decision i praying as fast as possible we will all come together as a church to lift up your name lord thank you bless you in jesus mighty name i pray amen amen